Peggy Clary of Clary Law Offices and one of our estate planning attorneys and doing our weekly video discussion we have on a topic of estate planning. And I have a riddle for you. So what does a family game of Mexican train dominoes, the death of Queen Elizabeth II, and third, the yoga breath of the dragon breeding have in common? I know many of you think perhaps I've had a drink and make no sense, but there are three very unifying things. Number one, uh, many times in our own family, we do activities uh, where we play card games, board games, or other events where we're interacting as a group. I recently had this experience as we played Mexican train dominoes with a very large group of my extended family and uh, one of the team members suddenly in the middle of it did a giant dragon breath. And that's a technique in yoga where you sigh and take a breath inward and then go <sighs> with all this outward energy. Uh, but he was very frustrated at the game, so instead of rolling his eyes, he would scream out dragon's breath. And then lastly, with Queen Elizabeth's death, there was a study of how many families operate during grief. And certainly on top of the pomp and circumstance and celebration of life of the great work of Queen Elizabeth, there was equal a number of coverage on the family dynamics were at play. So studying these three events, there's three takeaways that can help you with your own family when you're dealing with estate planning and death that really can help the process go a little smoother. So the first one is when you have the death of a loved one, and whether that be Queen Elizabeth or that be your own grandparent or your own parent, it is important that the person's life is celebrated. And that celebration of life helps us grieve. But very important to realize is that the people celebrating that life may choose to do it in different ways. And so don't forget that just because someone within the family unit is not choosing to join in the celebration of life the same way does not devalue the need for them to celebrate. Two, uh, family dynamics will accompany any event, particularly so in death. They are not going to go away. And how you respond to that dynamic will usually set the tone for the remainder of the process when you're unwinding the affairs of that uh, person. And I felt the royal family did an exceptional job of trying to navigate those family dynamics. But this is where the dragon breath comes in. Be prepared that when those dynamics explode, that take that dragon's breath, <sighs> exhale. Because by doing that, you are going to be able to have a moment to think, calm yourself, and then work through the dynamic that's unfolding. And the final tip in the process is the value of planning. Queen Elizabeth had an elaborate plan in place in which when she died as a head of state, there would be a series of events that would harmonize the needs of her immediate family, but also allow the nation and the world to honor her. There is nothing more traumatic than having an untimely death occur in a family or even an expected death, such as someone of 96 years of age of Queen Elizabeth, where there's no plan in place. People scamper for who's going to be planning the funeral. How is it going to be paid for? Where will it be held? Where is the assets? Where is the key to the house? And a little pre-planning with just a basic will will allow you to give the greatest gift to your family and allow them to focus on their mourning instead of the crisis planning of what to do. So I hope you got the riddle. I don't think anyone would probably guess it. But remember the importance of um, having that dragon's breath in time of family you know, crisis when someone passes and then being able to have that plan made ahead of time will help your loved ones 
have a hopeful seamless transition when you've passed away. Thanks again for your time. If we can help you create this plan at Clary Law, we stand ready to do that. And thanks again.